Okay, so recently you might have seen me using the crank hook with the out turn die, but today I'm using it with the in turn die. It's still the same, it's got the offset and beak point and still razor sharp. Now, this rig here is my pretty much take anywhere rig. So from the top, I've got dark matter tungsten tubing, you know, it's really, really heavy and follows the contours of the lake. Moving down, you've got your tail rubber and the ever faithful hybrid clip. So fishing here, I've got some snags around me, so I want to drop the lead every time. Moving down, I've got the new dark matter tungsten sleeves. These kick the hook link away every single time and obviously with it being weighted it's not going to lift up at all it's going to lay flush to the bottom then moving along another another dark matter product we've got the new braid in 20 pound now <clears throat> with this is extremely supple it's similar to the supernatural braid so again it's going to follow the contours but with this i've got a really balanced bait so it falls really really slowly so normally you'd have a stick stiff hook link and it would kick the bait away now with this being so supple and weighted the weight of it seems to still make it fall away. So you've got the suppleness to follow the contours and it still kicks it away. So moving down to that all important crank hook, I've got a size six here and all I'm doing is a nine turn knotless knot. You know, there's no need for any shrink tube, um, rig rings, any extra clutter, you know, because of the natural shape of the hook with that offset, you know, it does all the work itself. So I'll run you through exactly how to tie it up now start with pull off a bit of the dark matter braid form a hair loop then thread your hook bait and uh, here i'm using a mainline banoffee wafter and then as you can see i've trimmed it down and i've got a sliver of a pop-up now that's basically to again let it fall down slowly so i can balance it even more and plus you've obviously got that smell and attraction coming out of there so i've got the almond soaked into that one on my other rods i've got the squid and the caramel, they're my favourites to be honest with you. This, I chop and change all through the year, but at the moment they seem to be the winners. So mount them on, put the hair stop in, then thread the hook on. Now I'm using a size six here because of the bait and because of the lake I'm fishing, I want a nice big hook. So leave a nice gap, a couple of mil, and then nine turns round. And then simply put back through the eye, pull it down, and then all I'm doing is threading on a tungsten anti-tangle sleeve and then tying it on with a grinner knot and that's simply it. So there you know you can either hook a bag on or a little bit of foam. I tend to just tie the hair off because I like the fact that once that's in the water I feel if I've got a bag of crumb on or a bag of chops that's going to make it fall down. If I just tie it off it's going to fall naturally, fall exactly how I want it to and how I've seen it in the margins. So that's it. All that's left for me to do now is get it out of there. I'm doing a quick night on the road lake, as you can see. It's looking really good. I'm in Turtle Corner, seen a few fish about, so I'm literally putting them around that far margin where the trees are, walking around, scattering some hybrid baits. So uh, we've got the night ahead, so let's see what it brings. And how about that for an absolute cracker? 30 pound mirror from Road Lake. Really, really happy to catch this one. Caught on that crank presentation that I've shown you. Simple nine turn knotless knot and 20 pound dark matter braid. Just proving that there's no need to overcomplicate things with that hook. You know, with its offset, there's no need for shrink tube, rig rings, or any of any of a clutter really. It just does its job on its own. So get out and give it a go.